Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Now let's start. First, let's shuffle the deck four times for you. What went wrong in the past? A very passionate connection in the beginning, but inconsistent then. Uh, one partner was being a manipulator. There was lots of resistance, inner resistance to be more vulnerable. It may have felt like they have lost passion, they have lost attraction. Things were not flowing uh, freely. That's what I'm getting. What is affecting you in your subconscious at this moment that you may not be aware of? You have insecurities, you have this feeling like you don't know everything, like you have been left in the dark about many of their actions in the past, like you may not know exactly what feelings do they have towards you, what thoughts do they have for you right now. So that level of insecurity. Now let's see about the current energies. Ace of Wands, having desire for them, missing them a lot, wanting to reconnect. You miss a lot that past connection. But how do you view the situation? You think that if you both did not think too much, if you both would be more uh, courageous, and trusting that relationship more, there would be a possibility for that connection to grow to something uh, bigger and better. But you both would, uh, would be in that position of giving to the situation mutual uh, attention to each other, mutual uh, energy giving to the connection. You don't think that being one-sided or one partner giving more than the other would make that connection better. No, you'd like a mutual connection, a give and take, one that makes it possible to, to grow to something better. There's this energy of you feeling like something is missing there. You are not that much detached emotionally from the past. Let's see more details. Two of Wands, Eight of Cups, you fear that they may have made already that decision to never return back because they don't see love there anymore. Your focus is not to give up completely yourself. You want still to believe there. You still want to trust that connection or trust the process. Uh, this is a, uh, just a temporary uh, passing stage. Uh, that's what you want to believe, that there will come a time in the near future that things would be better. Two of Wands. You have passion for them. Some of you are already with a new partner or will have a new partner, but I don't see you being quite detached from the past. Yes, you know that that was a wonderful experience with those beautiful memories, but sometimes you believe maybe you should be more open to new opportunities. Maybe you should give more attention to new love offers. And sometimes you get too much detached, uh, attached, sorry. You, you become so attached into the past that you ignore or reject those new love offers that sometimes may be better than this past connection. Now let's see about them, about this past person that is currently in your mind. Let's shuffle the deck four more times for them. What are their energies towards you?
I see them having feelings. They are more mature emotionally than they have been in the past, but they are keeping those feelings to themselves. They are not sharing those feelings. They think a lot about that. They think about how to approach you again or how to approach that relationship. They have so much thoughts that are confusing, thoughts that give them insecurities and indecision. They are not that confident that the connection is the connection that would be the one that will make you both happy again. They want to talk, they miss that friendship, they want to send a friendly message, yes, they want to, but I see them having feelings there and being more stable emotionally. They just are not sure about the attraction or the passion being the same as it may have been in the beginning of the relationship. They have this doubt that the passion and the flame there may not be the same. I will continue this reading with more details in the extended. I want to cover what kind of feelings do they have towards you. Let's see more about that. How do they view you from the outside? What are their intentions for now? What are the energies for both of you and the energies around each one of you? If you want to watch the extended, you can find it now in the description box below, or if you're watching this from your mobile phone, you can just click the title, the description box will expand, and at the top you can find the extended link. Thank you for watching, see you the next reading, and bye for now.